Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and today we continue speaking about Warpets. We are up updating uh, Warpet guides one by one, every single one. We already did guide about Sapphire Fair Drake, we already did a guide about Berserk Fair Drake. Now it's time to uh, take a more detailed conversation about Frostbear, which is pretty cool Warpet in my opinion. Uh, it's a more tank uh, infantry warpet, uh, which is used in many different uh, hero pairs, which we're gonna speak uh, later in the video. Let's dig inside and let's find out why uh, Frostbear is good. In my opinion, uh, like first of all, as always, we're gonna speak regarding uh, attributes of the warpet. Legendary warpets are pretty easier to get, so try to get legendary ones because you're get, gonna get S tier uh, attributes uh, on your attribute section and these attributes are one of the most important aspects of the whole uh, Warped system in general. Uh, for the Frostbear I think main attributes are strength, uh, agility and endurance. Uh, I would suggest to uh, get at least A if you have an epic Frostbear or if you have a legendary one S tiers on strengths, agility and endurance, or, but if you have epic one, your highest uh, tier of the attribute is only A. So try at least to get A's on strengths, endurance um, and agility. Now, in order for us to find out why uh, Frostbear is so good, we need to understand the skills which we're gonna build around the Warpet, right? First of all, as always, um, try to get the main skill uh, at least on one star. I know it's it's really, really hard. Uh, you need to c capture a lot of warpets, but still try to do it. Uh, the one star on the main uh, main passive skill of the warpet is amazing addition. You are getting uh, additional stats, percentages, even seconds, so try to get the one star, right? Besides Frost Armor, which is basically giving you shields, um, and like Warped gains primitive strike, chance to deal damage to the target legion upon being hit. It's like whenever you are getting hit, you are getting shield and you are dealing 40% uh, more damage to for 5 seconds, right? And damage uh, factor, shield factor is in percentages, so that's important. Uh, as always, try to get the uh, maximum skill set of the synergies, which is Frost Armor, right? endurance uh, enduring frost armor which is giving you like basically a uh, primitive strike effect every 250 points of endurance which means um, as much endurance you are you're gonna get more uh, primitive strike you're gonna get uh, on this warpit and of course third skill uh, which is let me find it right uh, super frost armor basically you will have a higher chance uh, of getting the frost armor shields and it's determined by agility as I said, um, uh, strengths, first skill, uh, second one is uh, endurance, and third one is um, agility. Uh, this is the main skill of this warpet, and how we can uh, build uh, around this uh, shielding and counter-attack damage, right? First of all, counter-strike is amazing uh, skill to have on the frost uh, armor style of the frost pair. Uh, basically, you are dealing 50% more, more counter-attack damage to enemy. Uh, of course, you're gonna continue with Toph Counter-Strike, 100% chance to gain one stack of Toph Pet when casting Counter-Strike. Amazing synergy with Frost Armor since you are getting Shield, and of course, you're gonna finish with the third uh, Wild Counter-Strike, 100% chance to deal damage to Target Legion when casting Counter-Strike. Uh, the Wild Counter-Strike is determined by Agility, as I said, important attribute. Uh, the Tough Counter-Strike is determined by Endurance, and in general, Counter-Strike is determined by Endurance. So, like, in general, whenever you're gonna choose these skills, you, will, you won't be able to get more Endurance skills, so you need to fill up your Legion with some uh, cool um, skills, right? Blood Roar, uh, crit rate when your Warped skill deals physical damage, simply because uh, like it's de determined by luck. Uh, also, like you can just simply, as always, uh, put the uh, Tooth of Claw, simply because you're gonna get a lot of strengths, uh, because strength is one of the main attributes of this uh, Warped, and the, like a lot of percentage damages. As you can see, I have S tier on my strength, and 
5.57% physical damage tilt is a high amount of uh, percentage for the warped skill. So this is all how I would build my frost bear. I, I did not prioritize uh, changing the skills on the frost bear. I just got legendary one. So uh, I would start with frost armor. Uh, I'm gonna continue with enduring frost armor. Uh, then I'm gonna go and try to get super frost armor. Uh, after that, I'm gonna go with Counter Strike, uh, Thoth Counter Strike, and of course, of course, Wild Counter Strike. After that, you can choose any uh, skills around your playstyle. I would go with two of the close simply because uh, I would have a high amount of uh, strengths in my um, warpit. Now it's time to speak uh, about the most important hero pairs, which uh, Frostbear will be. Um, good with and you can run it right. Uh, so as I said, the first pair is infantry uh, fighter tank uh, uh, warped, which which is dealing a lot of counter attack damage and which is giving you some shields. Right. That's why, in my opinion, main and most important. Uh, uh, Hero pairs for the first uh, bear is uh, Madeline and Nika. That's been like one of the best ones since the beginning of the game. So if you will go with Madeline and Nika and you will choose the first bear, it will be totally fine. Um, as it's already really, really popular opinion that Madeline and Nika has high amount of counter-attack damage. And also the one of the greatest uh, skills in the game. Uh, maximum Legion capacity bon bonus up to 50,000, which gonna give your Legion more tankiness right and also like for the Madeline infantry pvp tank is the same attributes as frost bear has uh, and also uh, after the new edition of the new heroes in season 2 plus uh, another hero pair appeared which is Goresh and Skolgul uh, it's great to have a frost bear on them simply because they are like more dps centric uh, infantry hero pair which with a high uh, mobility they re run really really fast so I think with the addition of these new, new uh, infantry heroes, uh, Frost Bear will be amazing with them, uh, simply because Frost Bear's main idea is to deal as much damage as possible and have uh, like some kind of shields, uh, so you won't be uh, going down uh, faster, right? Uh, some people are running uh, Frost Bear with uh, Garwood and Eliana. I would not recommend it, uh, simply because Garwood's main uh, synergy is um, era centered around the healing, and Frostbearer does not give us any healing, it only gives some, some shields uh, and some counter-attack damage. And whenever you are playing with Garwood, uh, you are not going to deal a high amount of counter-attack damage. You are just more of a uh, as much defense, as much heals as possible to stay alive longer, like purely tank. Uh, and in my opinion, so other warpath is more suitable for a healing type of uh, infantry heroes, which I'm gonna speak uh, more in future videos. But uh, if you are running Frostbear with Garwood and Eliana, it's your choice. But if you want to maximize your uh, like value regarding like warpaths uh, with your hero pairs, I would still prefer uh, Madeline with Nika. Uh, and uh, if you still have like new heroes, uh, which I don't have Goresh, you can go Goresh and Skolgul uh, as a hero pair. And in general, like I think you can even play with Madeline and Skolgul uh, in the same hero pair. So I think. Uh, like this is the heroes which you, you can use uh, the frost bear in the future. Uh, other than that, we don't have much infantry heroes which we can speak about, right? Like other than that, like what else we have? Uh, maybe in season TI we will get um, two new infantry heroes. We will see. But so for now, Madeline and Nika, uh, Skolgul and Goresh, great hero pairs for the frost bear. Uh, in general, this is all I wanted to speak. Uh, you can't make like long videos about warpets because. You don't have much to speak about, right? There is attributes, there is skills, and there is hero pairs. If you have any ideas that you want, like in the long term videos about warpits, tell me what you want to hear, and I will try to find out and make a good plan and make a good video. Uh, we already did the guide about uh, Berserk Frederick, uh, Sapphire Frederick. Now we are doing Frostbear, and as you know, I'm gonna do one by one every single updated guide because. Uh, in this game, uh, updates are happening at least every single month, and a lot of things are changing. Uh, sometimes things are changing slowly, sometimes faster. Uh, like Warpets introduced like three or four months ago, and after that, like a lot of things have changed about them. That's why I decided to make updated guides about the Warpets. 
Uh, this is all I wanted to speak um, regarding Frostbear and in general about future plans. Um, I, I hope you are liking the videos. I hope you are liking the uh, live content. Also, I had a, I want to ask you something, guys. Like I, I'm trying to make another style of thumbnail on YouTube. Uh, you will see it uh, on like uh, latest videos, and I want your opinion. Which one do you like more? Like new ones or old ones? So like I will go with a one lane, right? Yep, so far, thanks for watching. If you're liking the content, please press like and subscribe, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.